Speaker, the government asked young people to lock down for two years. They complied. Their reward? A housing market that they can't buy into and being saddled with a ton of debt to put them down. Debt is keeping housing unaffordable and this government keeps spending. Yep. Why are millennials being shut out of the housing market for this Prime Minister's vanity projects? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. I would like to thank my colleague for her question. You know, Canadians throughout the country have found that access to property is inaccessible, which is unacceptable. That's why Budget 2022 has tangible measures, a $200 million investment for finding a house and being able to afford a house, a new tax-free first home savings account, and a foreign home buyer's ban for two years, Mr. Speaker. That is true federal leadership, and I hope that for once the opposition will vote for these measures. Under member for Lambton, Ken Middlesex. Well, Speaker Carol, a senior in my riding, shared with me her concern that seniors and those with disabilities are at the bottom of the NDP Liberals' priorities. Seniors and those with disabilities are suffering very real stress, trying to afford to live while everything in their lives becomes more expensive. They're already slashed their budgets to account for inflation, and they just can't tighten their belts any further. Speaker, I care about Carol. Why don't the NDP Liberals? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I was saying earlier, Budget 2022 has tangible and concrete measures. Not only will we invent, invest $10 billion in the years to come to increase how many houses are available in order to make sure that all Canadians, including seniors, have a place to live. For Sim 